Hi guys, this is the Draw My Life for 200 subscribers. So this is the Draw My Real Life and not Draw My AG Life. So 200 subscribers, thank you all so much. It's my face there. Okay, let's get into this video. So, basically, it, Astro starts 3rd of June 2004. I was born in a hospital in a big city, and I was born coming out of my mum, which looks really awkward, but it's the truth, it's the honest truth. I was born in a city in a hospital. Um, and yeah i'm not the best drawer i'm so sorry and when i was born i had an eye problem which caused me to wear glasses i still wear them today but i hope one day i'm gonna be able to wear contacts because i hate wearing them it caused me to get bullied quite a lot but i'm strong i get through it so when i was born i had quite curly hair as you can see there and um we lived in a small house in the city and i lived with my dad and i lived with my mom she looks really tiny there, and there's another version of me, yay. Okay then, so when I was two years old, my parents decided it was time to move to a bigger house, which we did in the town, a smaller town. We lived in this really big house. We still live in it today, I love it. And um, I was sad, I didn't want to move, but my parents were happy about it, which I never understood until recently. And I went to a school, I went, I went to the nursery there, and I went to the primary school, and I went there for nine years, and I recently left a couple of months ago. And so, yeah, in my stats I did really well, I got level 5 and level 6, which were, was really good for me. And then YouTube came along, and basically YouTube came along when I got my first on the 25th of December, and Annie Elizabeth, and that just happened, and I just felt like taking pictures, and I was happy that I had a YouTube, I honestly was, but then it just came to the point where it was either YouTube, or it was school. Now me being me, I picked both, and it was just, it was a really hard decision for me to make, yet I still made it. And I got confused, I didn't know what was happening, I got, more or less, I got sad, I just got depressed, I just, I was angry, and it just caused a lot of confusion, it really, really did. And um, so, in the, we wanted to move house which got me even more upset. My parents happy and I was sad. We want, we were trying to move out of this house that we'd been in for nine years. We'd already moved and I didn't want to move again. And so, yeah, it was either a choice between going to a new school or starting somewhere completely new. I would have to leave everything I'd ever known behind, which I didn't want to do, but obviously I had to, I had no saying it, I'm just a child. So we got to stay in our old house for quite a while, not too long, but we did stay in there. And um, on my first day at my new school, I liked it. I really liked it. It was just, it was amazing. I was happy there and I was just, I was happy. I really did like it. But then when I came home, I found out that the people that were buying our house had pulled out. They didn't want to buy the house anymore. Because my parents were upset, and me upset, and everybody was just upset, and I didn't know what to do. It was just so many confused emotions. We were staying in the house, but my parents still wanted to move. So we were upset, we were angry, it caused a lot of depression, it really did. We were always upset with each other, but then we tried to make things better, but it didn't work out that way. So then there was YouTube, and I, well, it was more confusing because I was starting secondary school and I didn't want to be judged and it was really hard to just to keep this life and I was bullied because I was different and it just and I just thought if I told them maybe they would like me more but I didn't I stayed strong so that's what you should all do and uh, basically yeah so okay so then again I met some friends called Casey Katie and Dana 
yeah, Dana. I met some great friends, and we just stayed in a little group, and we I'm still friends with them today, which is really cool. So I was happy. I felt included, and I felt accepted. It was such a nice feeling, and I still feel it today. So then I got depressed. My mum got depressed because of her job, and then my dad got depressed because of his job, and then there was me who got who was happy but then I got sad because of my parents being upset and then arguments broke out which I didn't really like and these were my parents and then we all argued all the time um, but then in the town we we were happy and we still are today this town means a lot to me and we we wouldn't we wouldn't change we just want to stay here and we may I don't know we may fall out but in the end we still love each other you know we're a family and even though we went through a really hard time that year we just stuck like glue that was it I may have broken my arm okay I broke it twice people I broke my arm twice and in one year I broke my arm and I may I traveled all the way to France on my own for like four days for my birthday and I traveled all the way to France and I made it alive thank goodness and we have this great house what was that <laughs> and I met friends which I didn't think I would ever make but I somehow did and I met you I met you guys, which was, it, it, you guys just made so much to me, and it just made me happy. Um, my life is a good one, it really is, I wouldn't swap it for somebody else's life, I just wouldn't, because why would you, if you had to my life, it's just like, I have school, I have YouTube, I have family, I have friends, I have everything I could have ever wanted apart from neat handwriting <laughs> and yeah I have 200 subs now which makes me happy all the time and I made you love one two three four forever and it's being it's being me which has got me where I am today I'm red an 11 year old girl Who made a fantasy reality? So I just want to thank you. Goodbye for now. Bye.